Hi, so I'm going to show you how to use the targeting report that you download from Amazon Advertising and then analyze it for the performance of your auto campaign, specifically the four targeting uh, groups of uh, loose match, close match, substitutes and complements. Um, so here I have the sponsored products targeting report. They internally also refer to it as the keyword report. Um, and what I've done is I have uh, gone to the column H, which is the match type column, and I have deselected broad, exact, and phrase because these correspond to data for manual campaigns. And I only want the one that has a hyphen next to it. And this is Amazon's internal way of referring to the new type of auto campaign, um, uh, which has these further bifurcations of uh, targeting types. So having made that selection, I will uh, try to analyze this um, by creating a pivot table because you know if, if you look at all this data, I don't know, it's so hard to, to analyze or draw any kind of insights out of it. Like I don't know which one is performing the best um, and what I should do with that, um, you know, with all this data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a simplified version of this report. Uh, which I have, I have just masked some campaign names. I've just called them SKU1, SKU2, and SKU3. And I'm going to use this as the base to uh, create a pivot table um, right now. So in order to create a pivot table, um, you can also do this in Google Sheets. It's pretty easy. So just select pivot table and select all the columns uh, that you see here from A to U. And then um, you will be presented with this uh, table that you can um, uh, you know populate with different uh, variables so I'm going to use the first one um, uh, the campaign name as the row label okay so th that's uh, going to give me all my data split out by campaign name and then um, in the column area I would like to pivot this for targeting so okay there we go targeting I'm going to put these as column labels so now you can see you have uh, loose match complements, loose match substitutes, uh, sorry, close match. Uh, and now I want this area where it says values area, I want to actually have the data that I want to, uh, to analyze. So I'm going to pick uh, total uh, ACOS, which is the advertising cost of sale. Now, the first time you look at it, it'll be kind of weird. It's just going to show ones and uh, counts, basically. So what you want to do is change this um, I, I clicked on the info button instead of uh, asking pivot table to calculate the, the count of um, data I want the actual value so I'm going to pick max and this gives me the actual ACOS and I'm just going to do some further cleanups here and uh, convert this to a percentage because that's what it is oh I should have taken the grand total also okay there we go and then I want to make sure it has two decimal points so this is a quick and easy way of analyzing your data now I could have also uh, instead of a cause I could have used any other um, variable such as seven day total sales uh, or conversion rate uh, whatever I uh, want and it can it'll show me the data split out uh, campaign name versus the total uh, the, the, the four um, uh, targeting types